Hello again, I'm going to do a, a motor timing session on the Orca 21.5. Uh, as you can see, I've uh, opted to have the timing mark at the 10, uh, the 10 degrees, because uh, the lower mark, the minus right here, it's actually 31 degrees, and you know, there's really no point checking that out. So I think with the Orca motors, they start off at the 10 degree mark. So I'm just going to start from there and go up each hash, and then I'm going to go up to this one black mark, which is approximately two millimeters, uh, which that's what they say is the best setting for this motor for touring car. All right, let's go. So afterwards, after it's done reading, I'm going to go up to this next hash mark right, right there. So that would be considered, I guess, 15 degrees on the cam. All right, so what do we got there? 30 degrees. All right, now I'm going to change the timing. It's a little bit tricky eyeballing it the best as I can. That looks pretty good. Let's keep going. There we go. So this is the next hash mark up. I'll let you check that out. I'll let you change the timing so that's 42. Now I'm going to go to the final hash mark before we go into the abyss. Alright, so there you go. There we go. Let's. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the past two millimeter mark. So just give me a second here. I'm just going to use digital calipers to make sure it's good. Okay. Nope. I don't make these timing rings easy to move. I guess that's better than nothing. All right, so two millimeters locked in, and I, th I think that'll be as far as I go. There we go. So it's approximately around the black mark in here. So this is two millimeters past this Hash mark here. All right. There we go. So the average is 52. All right. Hopefully this was helpful to you guys. Now just remember, this motor, uh, the timing settings could be slightly different than the motor that you own. So just be aware of that when you're tuning your motor for your track and gearing. Okay. Bye bye.